Oh, Bernard. I'm working on my jokes for the correspondence dinner. Can I run them by you? Do I have a choice? <laughs> no. And I can barely contain my excitement. <laughs> okay, here's my opener. We know the press is here because all the shrimp are gone already. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See, the shrimp were free, and the press like to save money, so you figure... If you they... have to explain it, sir, it's not a joke. It's just painful. <laughs> oh, well, well, you guys aren't laughing because you're on duty, huh? No, sir, we can laugh. <laughs> we just choose not to, sir. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's talk about Congress. <laughs> Actually, let's not talk about Congress. <laughs> yeah! You see, Bernard? I had you here, then I took you there. Can you take me someplace else? <laughs> That's a good one, Bernard. That... Sorry, sir. <laughs> okay, Bernard, do you have any suggestions? Have you considered mime? Okay, what do you get when Republicans and Democrats walk into a bar together? What bar? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well, what time is it? Is it happy hour? <laughs> CJ's, they got the best wings, sweet and tasty. Just like that bartender, sweet, tasty, and fine. <laughs> what I was going to say was, Republicans and Democrats would never go into a bar together. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Is the bar closed? Did they run out of wing? Wow. I'm, I'm gonna have to find some other jokes. Oh. Wait a minute. That was a joke? That's why I call you PC. There's nothing wrong with being politically correct. No, PC stands for President Connie. Mm, that's harsh, Pauletta. Son, you're gonna have thicker skin than that. Like the skin on Pauletta's face. Especially for that dinner. You're going to be telling jokes about people. People are going to be telling jokes about you. There's a lot of material to work with. <laughs> you cannot sit up there all sad face at that press dinner. People are going to think you know something, that the economy is going straight to hell like Paul Letter's body. Ain't nothing wrong with my body. My body's fine. It's your saggy face that's got us in a recession. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We need to have a practice roast right here. Get all your crying out now. Maybe a practice roast isn't a bad idea. Another great idea, son. Hmm, I think it'll be good for you. We got your back. Now, how should I start? <laughs> you're corny, you're stiff, you're dull, you can't dance, you dress bad. How much time I got? <laughs> Why can't we go to the roast? You don't need to see your father cry. And I need you two to watch Lucas and Olivia. Uh, it's Friday night. I've got plans. Yeah, like, which fake girlfriend are you going to text? Uh, for your information, this one is real. Her name is Sherry. Oh, wow. Has she seen you? All right, enough. And by watching them doesn't mean plopping them in front of the TV. Are we clear? Yay! Thanks for forcing them to play with us. <laughs> You're welcome. Have fun. <laughs> It's my girl, Sherry. She says hi. I'm gonna write hi back. Do you need help spelling it? Can I do your hair? Ow! Ow! No! No, please. Can I play a game on your phone? Uh, no. But I got an even better idea. We can play a really fun game called Freeze, right? Right. Freeze? Yeah, it's really fun. We yell freeze, and you guys hold still and don't speak like statues. The one who does it longest wins. Right, so go over there and just shake it out. Okay, freeze. Freeze. <laughs> Suckers. Welcome to the first ever Johnson Family Roast. I'm Elvin Johnson, also known as the first father. More like the first fossil. Ooh, started already. These are the rules. 
You can insult anyone, anyone can insult you. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Edie's here, all the way from the Motor City. Edie's so old, she got the first kiss in the back of a Model T. Why are you all up in my business? <laughs> sorry, Edie, sorry. She's a stagecoach. <laughs> Paul Letters here, I'm not saying she's ugly, but when she was born, they put tinted windows around her incubator. <laughs> You so old, when you went to school, they didn't even have history class. Ooh. That's a good one. Let's get this roast on the road. Oh, yeah. Where you going, son? Tell my jokes. Everybody know we say the worst for last. Yeah, so sit your butt down. <laughs> it's kind of cold. I don't remember, honey. It's all in fun. OK, first up, she's not only the country's finest first lady, she's the country's worst cook ever. Just yesterday, she made breakfast, and I had bones in my pancakes. Let's hear it for Katherine Johnson. Thank you, thank you. Please sit down. <laughs> I know the president has to be careful with his words, but I think a teleprompter in our bedroom is going a little far. <laughs> oh! <laughs> The other night we had a fight and I made him sleep on Air Mattress One. <laughs> I said Air Mattress One. We heard you the first time, baby, and I'm still trying to forget it. I put spanks on for this? I heard you know jokes at my grandmother's funeral. And here's a funny story that happened on our third anniversary. No, it was our fourth anniversary. Baby, do you remember the year we re-bricked the patio? So that had to be... No, 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 I was right the first time. Third anniversary. <laughs> so, um, it was raining outside. Uh-oh. I think we're losing her. <laughs> do me a favor. If I die right now, don't revive me. out. Can you guys please be quiet? I'm on a date here. Oh. oh man, this is moving fast. She wants me to meet her friends. What do I say? I... Ooh, I know. Okay. Uh-oh. They just want to check you out, and that's not going to be good. But I'm going to type K. There's a girl in my class named K. She sort of looks like a turtle, but in a good way. Does your girl look like a turtle? <laughs> Can you just watch TV and don't bother us? But mom said oh. not. Mom's not here. Worst babysitters ever. <laughs> and now back to our movie, The Hungry Dead. <laughs> So he ended up giving me a plant, the same plant that I gave him, and he didn't even remember. She's right. I didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so now, for our 14th wedding anniversary. Oh, get off the stage! This isn't a toast. It's a roast. Come on, you got to go. But I didn't get to the best part of my story. All due respect to you, First Lady, please, Your Majesty, please sit down. <laughs> Goodness, she's like a human sleeping pill. <laughs> now, our next roaster. All righty then. Son, please, please, have a seat. Let me get Miss Ugly out the way first. Oh. <laughs> our next roaster, she's known as the first sister-in-law. But she's so ugly, she should be called the first sister against the law. <laughs> Let's hear it for Paul Little. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All that coming from a man looking like a pumpkin. <laughs> and Catherine, I want to thank you for all those stories about you and William. We could have listened to them all night. In fact, it felt like we did. <laughs> no, let's get real, let's get real. The president has no personality. Uh-uh. He's so stiff. You could iron his clothes while he's still wearing them. <laughs> stiff, sir. He is dumb. 
<laughs> you only hang out with him when you want to be alone. <laughs> hey, that's my husband you're talking about. Oh, well, Catherine, remember, it's all in good fun. And don't get me started on First Lady Catherine. Uh -uh. Since you married him, you become a little dull yourself. Uh -huh. You become like that plant that you gave him, that you gave back, that you forgot you. Oh, Lord, I'm born myself. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, Catherine, really. You have become boring. A good time for you is looking for another boring blue dress to wear. Ooh. Come on, Catherine. You know that's funny. You know it's funny because it's true. No, but you know what? My husband was trying to get a hurricane named after you, but they already had enough hot air. <laughs> Actually, that's still pending. <laughs> if it went for this potty pooper, I'd be living my dream. What? Are you talking about that singing thing? Are you really not over that? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Please tell me she's done talking about that plant. If it wasn't for him, you and I could be somebody. I am the first lady of the United States. You always got to throw that up in everybody's face, don't you? I'm the first lady. I'm the first lady. Well, everybody knows that. The whole world knows that. Because I am the first lady. So you just can't stop. Ladies, maybe. Hush! Ooh. Woo! Now this is what I call a roast. <laughs>William, could you thank Pauletta for nothing? This is silly. William, could you please pass me that knife before my sister stabs me in the back with it, as she's prone to do? I actually think she heard that one. And don't let this first lady image fool you. I did grow up in Detroit. I grew up in Detroit, too, and you wouldn't be the first lady I knocked out. Okay, oh. ah, okay, I think we need a timeout. Oh, how about a lockout, as in get out of my house? Your house, my taxes pay for this flop house. Oh, but you need a job to pay taxes. Oh, a uh, job, uh, I got a job. I take care of your kids. Now, you the one need a job. Okay, talk dog you. Go to your corners. <laughs> I'm in your rooms. And now, back to our movie, The Hungry Dead. <laughs> Chloe, Sherry just sent me a picture of the hamburger she's eating. I love that. Oh, no. I, what? I texted her, I love you, by mistake. What'd she say? I think we should start texting other people. How long was that? 12 minutes? That's a record for you. <laughs> What's wrong with you two? The Hungry Dead, they ate the whole village. Starting with their brains. We have brains, juicy brains. <laughs> then we're dead. You know you're not supposed to watch scary movies. Mommy said not to plop us in front of the TV. You plopped us. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, oh. Yeah, right. Right, you can't leave this room because it's the only place where your brains are safe. We're gonna have to stay in this room forever! If we're lucky, the hungry dead will get us before mom and dad do. As you know, I have arbitrated major conflicts between warring countries, but you two... Hey, that speech. You heard this 20 years ago. What did I do? You broke up the group, Yoko. I didn't break up the group. What is it called? The Almost Sisters? The Double Sisters? What? The Almost, almost Twins. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's going to travel the world. I do that now. You do. We weren't even that good. What are you talking about? That producer, he wanted us. He wanted to sign us. He said we had something. Our lives that could have been much more exciting. My life is exciting. I'm the Don't first. you dare say first lady to me again. If you do, I'm out of here. First lady, first lady, first lady. Yeah. 
You know, I used to own a piano store slash soul food joint called Black Eyed Keys. Both on their way. So I need you to please step from behind there so we don't ruin the plan. There we are. No, 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 no. I got to have a pool. Uh, no, I need an apartment where I can wear a bikini. Yeah, <laughs> and if you can see all of this over here, you know what? <laughs> Excuse me. What do you want? Well, I'm just feeling a little nostalgic for some almost twins. Dad, they were very big in the 80s. She's very big now. You should know a lot about the 80s. You've been 80 for about 100 years. Honey, what did you want? Well, what's going on in here? Your husband wants to see a reunion of the almost twins, but I'm not playing with her. I'm not playing with her either. Well, I programmed your track into the keyboard, but if you two don't think you still have it, well, I didn't you know. say all that. Mm-hmm. Once you have it, it never leaves you. Uh -huh. Come on, sis. Let's do our big hit. You mean our only hit. Oh, come on now. We charted that 189 with a bullet. Well, we... <laughs> uh, come on, honey. <laughs> hit it. That's where it's gonna stay. <laughs> you know, the best part about the Almost Twins is being together. Yeah. You know, sis, I know that you're doing the right thing right here. Helping the president run the country. <laughs> you know, I couldn't do it without you. You saying that because it's true. <laughs> Paul Letter. Come on, Paul. Come on. Don't give up your dream. I can get you on the road tomorrow. For agent, travel agent. Get you a job in India. Oh, you do very well there. They love their cows. Who you calling on a cow? You need to call that travel agent and get him to book you a trip down a flight of stairs. Oh, snap. <laughs> Okay, so here's the deal. We called the Hungry Dead expert, and they told us that if you feed them a lot, they'll eat so much that they'll explode. All we have to do is throw this food outside and let them eat. I want to see those bad boys explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. hey, Dad. Hey, hey, Mommy. Mom. What's going on here? We're trying to stop the Hungry Dead from eating us. The Hungry Dead? Ooh, that was a scary movie. Wait a minute. You let them watch The Hungry Dead? Yes, they did. No, I told you not to let them watch a scary movie. Mom, he was texting a girl all night. I was not. Oh, wait. It's Sharon. She says she wants to get back together again. Wow. What do you get when Charles and Sherry are in the same room together? Nothing. Because they're never going to be in the same room. You're grounded. Now that's pretty funny. I told you. See, why do some people say I'm not funny? I think you're really funny, Daddy. Thank you, honey. You're going to think this is hilarious. You're grounded, too. <laughs> and now, The Hungry Dead 2. Still hungry. Ooh.